The Minecraft community has been home to a lot of arguments and fighting. This can be seen by anyone pretty much all the time, but what a lot of people don't know is a lot of this fighting can all be traced back to one thing, and that is people not actually understanding what the game is. And that might sound ridiculous, but trust me, there is actually a lot more to it than you might think. Spoiler alert, it is not just a digital Lego game, but let's dive into answering the question, what actually is Minecraft? And then we can talk about how it applies to the current arguments in the community. A lot of people tend to say that Minecraft is just a building game, or a sandbox, or digital Legos. This understanding is inherently false, or at least incomplete, because this is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. But it's perfectly normal to think of Minecraft as just a digital building game. That's fine for just normal people. But I personally strongly believe that if you are going to argue about the game, then you should have the full, deeper understanding of what it actually is. So now it's a problem when we have all of these YouTubers with high subscriber counts arguing and criticizing other people while using the excuse that Minecraft is a digital Legos game. In simpler terms, people should know what they're talking about, and unfortunately, oftentimes they don't. Now, I can already guess a lot of you are probably wondering, so what is Minecraft then? if it's not all of these things that people commonly say it is. Well, take some time to really think about it. If the main point of Minecraft was just building like people say it is, and that's really what the game was entirely, then would it be special at all? Would the game stand out from other games in any way and be different? No, it wouldn't. Minecraft would be just another building video game. What makes Minecraft special isn't the building, that's part of it, but there are tons of sandboxes out there, so to say Minecraft is just a sandbox is severely underselling it and also oversimplifying it. Yet, if you propose any new RPG-style features for the game, you'll always be hit with that excuse that it's a sandbox. More on that later. But the unique thing about Minecraft is that it doesn't fully devote itself to one category of video game. Instead, it dips into many. It's a semi-sandbox. It has many characteristics of one, but it isn't a true, full sandbox. Because you don't have 100% freedom on how you progress, technically. And it also isn't a full-on RPG, but it is a semi-RPG with many aspects of one. And also aspects of many other game types. It can even be customized in a way to make it into a battle royale and multiplayer. So what is Minecraft? Well, it's not a sandbox. It's more of an amalgamation. A really good one at that. One that offers the player much freedom. This comes at the cost that the game can never fully be a sandbox or fully be an RPG. But it comes with two immense benefits. One, Minecraft is really special as a game, and there isn't much else out there like it. Two, it appeals to a very wide player base, by appealing to players that like all these different kinds of games. This is how Minecraft is as big as it is today. As popular as building in Minecraft is, the game wouldn't be what it is today if it was just building. I've seen a lot of people say that that should be the entire focus of the game, every other aspect can be ignored, just building is what really matters, but that's not true. You can't just leave entire chunks of the player base behind, that is a surefire way to kill the game. Minecraft is meant to appeal to all of these different player bases in at least some way. And this is done through what I like to call the five core aspects. The intrinsically, aka sandbox, aspects are building and engineering, and then the extrinsically motivated, aka RPG side aspects, are combat and progression. And then there's adventure, which is kind of a cross between the two, thus creating this delicate balance where, if too much attention is poured into one aspect, the others get left out. If one aspect is ignored too much, people who prefer that aspect over the others might lose interest in Minecraft. This is why you can't just ignore aspects like progression or combat or adventure, they need to be included at least somewhat too. And some of you out there might be thinking, yeah, that's obvious, but it isn't to some people. 
There are people constantly making the argument in the Minecraft community that Mojang shouldn't focus on making features for the extrinsically motivated, they should just leave them behind and focus only on things for the intrinsically motivated. So progression, combat, and some of adventure get booted, engineering, building, and the other part of adventure stay. This idea severely misses one of the major themes of Minecraft, and that is inclusivity, specifically pertaining to the player base. Minecraft is meant to be for this wide audience, so it's kind of missing the point of it to try and take it and turn it into this exclusive little club for that 5% of the player base that's completely intrinsically motivated. Because very few people in real life and in the player base are fully intrinsically motivated. So we've established Minecraft as this glorious amalgamation, but what is the point of this amalgamation? Why is it like this in the first place? Well, a lot of people will once again say that the primary point of Minecraft is to build. And there is some truth to this statement. Building is part of the point of Minecraft. It serves it, ultimately. But as we just saw, building is one of the five core aspects. And building is more of a mechanic, not a purpose. All five of the core aspects, building, engineering, adventure, progression, and combat, all serve the higher point of Minecraft. And that is expression and freedom. There is no right or wrong way to play Minecraft. It doesn't matter if you build a giant base. It doesn't matter if you kill the Ender Dragon or not. The neat thing is that you get to further embrace whichever aspect you so please. So what I've seen ever since my progression video is that working on Minecraft's progression is just a waste of time. It doesn't matter because it's not the point of Minecraft. That argument immediately fails in the sense that no mechanic is the single-handed point of Minecraft. But anyway, so long as anything serves in any way to that higher purpose of expression and freedom, it is a valid use of development time from Mojang. Whether that be giving the player more freedom in how they progress through the game, or giving them new ways to do so, or allowing them more ways to express themselves in combat. New devices to tinker with, new mechanics to test, it's all good, it all serves that higher purpose. So for the final part of this video, let's imagine this world where Minecraft really is just a digital Lego game like people say it is. What would be of Minecraft? You spawn into an empty world, creative mode with a bunch of blocks in your inventory, no special gear or anything. All you can do is build and engineer stuff. But there's a bunch of other games that let you do that, so what happens? Unfortunately, Minecraft doesn't quite manage to reach full popularity. Take out even one of Minecraft's five core aspects, it's no longer Minecraft. All of the aspects hinge on each other in at least some way, if you really think about it. But in this world, Minecraft would be nothing amidst the catalogs of video games just like it. So that is why we need the extrinsically motivated side of Minecraft, to add in that player base to give Minecraft that spark of uniqueness, to ultimately make it into a game that has yet to be topped. So congratulations, if you watched this far, you now know more about Minecraft and what it is than probably 99% of the internet. So good on you, and use that knowledge wisely, please. And thank you for hearing my explanation of things. If you enjoy videos like this, then subscribing is always a huge help. I hope to see you all in the next one, and for now, goodbye. Have a nice day.